Welcome back everybody and what? it's officially wet as out there. <sighs> and in here. And, <laughs> and we're officially boarders as well. That's yeah. a new one for your boarders. Sat in here all day just going, I'll we'll stop in a minute. I'll we'll stop in a minute. Not a chance, is there? No. I think it's gonna slow down. But um, we're around the corner from a Witherspoons and Catherine says we should go around to Witherspoons. Now this was not not my idea. I was quite happy sat here board stiff. No, you weren't. Well, no, I'd go out for a little drink uh, before we head round to that chip shop. We've got a ticket. Well, I put three hours in and it gave me till nine o'clock tomorrow morning. All right. Well, we give, it was three pound fifty for three hours up till six o'clock, but it says nine o'clock tomorrow morning on that. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, I thought you had to press night time one yeah you've got to press the motorhome one but it says this, this is inaccessible so I presume you can't do that until 6 p.m. when the nighttime charge comes in so that's I, I put enough in for three hours and it did that so I don't know yeah. but we've got a ticket that's all that we've got a ticket we've paid something yeah um, and we're going to use the chip shop in a minute and I think I might go and have a look at some trains in Sports Direct where out because it's literally you go up to that bridge there over the bridge the chip shop's just over there, Sports Direct's just past it there, and Wiverspoons is just like a street yeah, that way, isn't it? Yeah, only a few minute walk, isn't it? Yeah, um, another moto here, quite secure in here, we've stopped here before. Uh, last time was in the Sprinter van, so it was over a year ago. Um, it was quite popular then, it was all full of motorhomes in here. But there's plenty of car parking spaces. It was actually, um, when we went to look at the uh, Swift Contiki at Christmas time, wasn't it, when we parked yeah. in here? Oh, we parked in here when we... Uh, yeah, yeah, we parked did. in here the night before, we went to look at it. Yeah, we must have done. Yeah, yeah we did. Because it came up on my memories a couple of days ago. Right. Right, we're going to get us counts on in a minute and... Uh, I think we're mad. I think we're mad. No, we're just bored. Yeah. <laughs> bored. We must be mad going out in this. Must be mad. Go on, Broly, though. Well, I, I said I were going out and you said, oh, I'll come. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, so this is the car park you can stay in. We're parked obviously just there. Another van there. These are the motorhome bays that go around this edge here. Oh, lovely weather. And the diesel has just run out. So a uh, five litre tank in there has lasted about uh, four days. But that's not continuous use, that's just during the day use. Come on, it's wet as... Things we have to do, eh? <laughs> Share the brolly. I'm using the uh, chest mount GoPro today. I can just keep zipping it up in my coat, can't I? <laughs> zipping it in like a baby. That's a nice little van there. It is, it's nice, isn't it? Matt? That one there, look. Yeah. <laughs> to turn my chest. <laughs> in my chest to uh, do it but yeah there's toilets just over there as well yeah if you ever come here I'll take you over and show you how full the canal is <laughs> i bet it's got plenty of water in there yeah, from all this rain oh i've ah. oh, got it has yeah crikey i mean it has got um level things so they don't tend to come up like the rivers do but it's still up still plenty in it a few places you can drink and eat over here as well yeah oh this weather yeah and the chip shop is on end of that bridge just over there yeah right <laughs> we must be mad out here they got their uh, yeah they've got the fire going fire going Can't hold them. engine running and you get boat trips down here as well yeah because there's bags of coal on the top <laughs> yeah it's keep them going a bit time of year isn't it yeah love this old little stone staircase yeah. on the bridge oh my brolly's going <laughs> Oh. Whose idea with this? I'm getting wet. <laughs> Don't matter, I've got a brolly. It's just hammering me. Oh. Not being a wuss. I'm not being a wuss, I'm just thinking about how we get dry when we get in the van. <laughs> well, hey, you're alright for parking now because nobody's coming out in this weather. This is the chip shop we talked about, Busy Lizzie's. Oh, yeah. Fish and chips, award winning apparently. Yeah. 
And we've been told it's one of the best. Yeah. All right, let's get into spoons. Go drink. I'm having a pint of Bud Light because it's two pound thirty-four mm. on here. Cheapest. Catherine's looking at the Strongbow, I think. Yeah. Just looking. Yeah, I think Bud Light. I'll probably change my mind, but. Mm. Bud Light. Yummy, eh? Mm. That smells good. It tastes lovely. And it's only two pound forty-nine. Like, isn't it? Yeah, Copperberg strawberry and lime. Lovely. It's stopped raining. It actually has. Should have waited, waited a bit longer. <laughs> I know. So next job, he's got a Coupelands because Captain's bought a Too Good To Go bag. I have ordered a Too Good To Go bag. It's three pounds from Coupelands. So we're going to get again. Yes, and it's getting dark. Stop fish and chips at uh, this busy Lizzie's. What we got recommended, haven't we? Yep. Award winning, apparently. Take away. Yeah. So we got three lots of fish and chips from Busy Lizzie's in Skipton. Now it was recommended this by Alison. Alison, I believe, recommended. Yes. It's the one we can remember. Yes. And uh, yes, look at these. So, I don't know, £8 each to work Eight quid each, yeah. Eight quid each. They're looking rather splendid, aren't they? They are, aren't they? Oh, mm. crispy bits. Hey, that's my packet <laughs> of chips. So we're going to try these out. Mm. And see what we think. Mm. That is a good portion. And uh, me and Catherine have got peas. Try a bit of this fish. Mushy peas to be exact, mm. but I don't like them. Mmm. Right. Try a bit of this batter. Yeah, I've got salt and vinegar on, so get any sauce you want. Very nice. And Busy Liz's have actually got two chip shops in Skipton, believe it or not, and a restaurant. One thing I will say is the chips aren't greasy like some places. No, they're not. Very nice. Mmm. Very tasty. Mm. Well priced as well. First time we've had fish and chips for... Oh, we haven't had fish and chips for a long time, have we? A long, long time. That's it, I'm filled up now. Oh, fish and chippies. They were quite good. Quite good. Definitely not the best we've ever eaten. No, they're not. Definitely. They're all right. Yes, at least the chips weren't greasy, because a lot of the fish and chip shops you get chips from, they're absolutely greasy as hell, aren't they? They weren't greasy. No, they weren't greasy at all. Yeah, you know, sometimes you... You picked a few up we had down, mm. we had forks, but yeah, they weren't greasy at all. So no. yes, very nice. They were very nice. The only thing me and Zach picked up on is that um, some of the chips were a little undercooked. Well priced though. Well priced, yeah. Very well priced, because I've seen them for a lot more money, because they weren't mini fish and chips, it was just no, they fish were, and it, chips. No, they were a blooming good portion. The uh, cod was were. £5 odd, I think Addict was £8 odd, Addict was a lot more money, but mm. we do like the cod. Yeah. So yes, thanks for that recommendation. <coughs> and that one's one. That's one ticked off the list that's of many. That's number one done. That's one of many. I think next one will have to be a kebab. <laughs> but yes. Um, so tomorrow's job, we're getting this serviced at 10 a.m. in the morning. Yep. So tonight, I'm gonna sit, have a cup of tea, and, watch and listen a bit to the rain. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> probably listen <coughs> to the rain and wind for mm. that next storm coming. Yeah. So we shall pick you back up in the morning. Yes. See you in the morning. We're rocking the just got out of bed look this morning because we have just got out of bed, <laughs> haven't we? Yeah. And gone, oh my god, the van's got to be in for service like in yeah, half an hour. Yes. So it's quickly up, a quick cup of tea, no breakfast. I'm just going to literally just chuck stuff away now. I ain't got time to wash the pots and go and have the van serviced. We'll get some breakfast from town. Yes, I think we'll probably go for a walk and get some breakfast, hopefully. And the storm seems to have died down now. Yeah. Looking at the weather, the winds are dropping off and off and off by it, what, tea time. Be, to be fair, it was a really sheltered night here, though, wasn't it? Yeah. A few, to what I, it would have been. I heard a couple of little branches fall on the roof. Yeah. Because uh, the motorway bays have all got trees above them. But yeah. these look the smallest trees. The ones further that way look bigger trees. I thought, mm. I don't want them falling on by. Yeah. 
these are only the same fruit scar little branch ones mm -hmm. so yes that is mission today let's go and get this service done <sighs> let's wake up <laughs> and let's get some breakfast yeah right so while the van is being serviced we've come round to morrison's and right. this is the second morrison's we've been to what say what do they say on that counter we've got oh, no ba bacon we've got no bacon you know where they serve the chicken um, sausage butties bacon butties we've got no bacon we've got a counter full of it around the corner mate this is the second one isn't it mm. there's a trend appearing mm -hmm. no bacon I was looking forward to bacon and sausage, don't we? What you got, Zach? Zach, oh. poor old Zach's just got a squeezable tomato sauce. <laughs> That's all I we could a, afford, 35p, uh, innit? Yeah, 35p each. Um, I had uh, three mini chicken fillet things with breadcrumbs. Very nice, but that wind's getting up again, isn't it? Mm. But they're only going to be about an hour or so. So we'll just mooch around for a bit, and then we'll head back around and pick the van up shortly. The nice sausages them from Morrison's. Mm -hmm. Poor Boo's got nothing. Uh, you want your salmon and biscuits, Boo? <sighs> back in our favourite lay-by. So I've come back to Redford for several reasons. We've got a couple of parcels to pick up. Um, just various different things. So uh, yeah, we're going to be spending a few days back here, uh, get things sorted out and also get that roof leak sorted with some CT1, which once Caffeine's picked a car up in a minute, we're heading down to stool, Tool Station for some of that, so I'm going to say Stool Station there. Stool, stool Station. Tool Station. Stool Station. That's better, get your blanket on there before Mumma catches you, or so you'll be in trouble. Yes you will! <laughs> Not that you know any different, does he? No. You alright, Zaki? Yeah. Oh, got us bread here. I might have... I might have some soup. Soup? Yeah, are you getting ready for some food? Uh, not really. Oh no, I'll tell you what. The Too Good To Go app... Um, we got some bits and pieces yesterday from Coupland's and I've got a seafood sandwich there. Mm. So... You're going to have yourself a seafood sandwich? Well, it wants eating up. Seafood cocktail. So that is what I'm going to have right now. Good boy. And I can't remember who suggested this, but using the microwave as a bread bin was a cracking idea because we very rarely use it for anything so thank you came up with that idea mm. but me uh, seafood cocktail looks like an RTA there isn't it? yeah looks like an RTA I was just listening to something on the news then apparently the worst ever 999 calls I've ever had or the most stupidest 999 calls you can call it somebody rang up claiming they'd eaten too much kebab um, that made me chuckle that did eating too much kebab and apparently the next morning it gives them a bit of belly ache so they rung 999 absolutely crackers absolutely crackers it i'm just sitting waiting for Catherine to get back uh, i'm just doing a few modifications on the diesel here i've took the pump comes in a rubber bracket makes a right racket because it's mounted to the plywood floor under this van so I've took it out, I've encased it in foam, um, I've got some big tie wraps coming to tie wrap it up, suspend it on tie wraps and that should hopefully sort that situation out. Now we've been running it for the last five days I think because we've topped the gas tanks up today uh, with £14 since Friday so five and a half days to use one bottle so it's obviously helped no end using the diesel eater as well as the gas put the gas on like that diesel it on during the day so uh, that's how we've been running that we came past the Morrisons and it was LPG 89 pence a litre so I go in there 14 quid were filled up jobs are good and so yeah Catherine's just popped down to screw fix and tool station because we need some CT1 and you can only get it from tool station and then I want to get up there and seal that skylight up uh, before any more water comes in it's dry today it's forecast it being dry tomorrow as well so I need to get that done. We don't want water up there, do we? We do not, Zaki. No. So we're going to try and quieten this pump down. I've made this little foam thing here, look. And then we're going to sit that somewhere like that. 
that is the plan. Apparently tie wraps are good. Oh, I could do with some more. A bit more room under here to get my big head in. I think that's the way we want it. That uphill. Something like oh dear. Wish I had a pick to work in. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it a little bit quieter because it is very noisy at the minute. This is. So I'm going to encase it in this scouring pad and then I'm going to tie wrap it up to this bracket here. And that should make it a whole heap quieter. I think really you need to. Here we have the bear oh. belly. Oh, <laughs> I'm at. <laughs> I just love being laid on my ass. Don't you just? Oh, I'm not sure. Not sure I'm doing this very well. Oh. It's all a bit swingy. <laughs> it isn't quite uh, going as well as I. Nothing ever does. As well as I pictured it in my head. Nothing ever does. But we shall try it. It's all very temporarily. I've got some nice big big tie wraps to. Pick all the off the road, so leave a mess. Oh, I can state it, Van. She needs a right good wash. Oh, Damn it. That's it. That's a big bag of tie wraps, what we're about. That's right, I said it's £7.99. £7.99 from school fix. I said that when she gave them to me, I said, God, that's a big bag. <laughs> Yeah, so the people that said about hanging the pump at an angle, uh, somebody else mentioned tie wraps. So I've got a kitchen sponge, put it in a kitchen sponge, tie wrapped it up, tie wrapped it to the body. It's absolutely so silent. Dead silent, isn't it? Can't hear a tick Until you walk outside. All. You can hear it ticking outside. <laughs> but we're not bothered about but that. Obviously, the vibration isn't transferring through the van now. Because mm. on that rubber mount they give you, it's pretty pants, so it will thump in. Yeah. Um, we've listened, listened, in here. Nothing, absolutely there dead isn't. silent. No. I was thinking about buying a quiet pump, no need. No, no, um, not I, at all. I did read on Google and somebody says if you need to buy a quiet pump, you've not tried to silence it properly. So that's the mm. way. So thank you everybody for your tips on that. Yes. Much appreciated. So seven quid's worth of tie wraps, we've got a ton of tie wraps left <laughs> and a quiet pump. We had to buy a bag of a hundred and needed about four. But yeah, well, they'll come in handy. They'll for come in things. handy. Jobs are good. And... Oh, what's for tea tonight? What delights we got? Do you well, know what? A ton of chicken. I don't know if anybody else is like me. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people are. I get fed up with trying to figure out what to cook. That's not because because I'm normally cooking all the time. You no, see. No, you're not. Don't tell people that. Oh, I am. You see my special fried rice. I'd have had the uh, chicken fried rice. I personally would have had chicken fried rice again. To be fair. Well, you do it again then. I'm quite happy for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've had some taters though. We've had taters for a while. So we're gonna have chicken. <sighs> chicken in a bag. With uh, it's like a garlic and herb, I think. Is it a foreign one? Yeah. I tell you what, put it in the bag and then get some of this chicken seasoning. That might be nicer. Do it like that. Okay. And um, Zach's having some like, chicken noodles. Stir fried chicken with some chicken noodles. So I'm doing his separate. Uh, right. Taters. No, light the oven first because the chicken will take longest. Unless, what about doing it in that little new pan? What? The chicken. Put it in there then, get it cooking, go. We're all hungry. I know we are. Potatoes will take up, why put potatoes on gas? Yeah. You can use that on the electric to cook whatever. We've not cooked anything else in that other than uh, booze food. 
yeah. it was well impressive as well. It so was. Let's get that fired up. Right, take three. We're going to try and do some uh, frying in this little panny thing. Electric hob, you just did the generator probably outside. We're using that just to just to cook with, top the batches up at the same time. I want to thank Mario and Stephen to, for sorting out the service on the van today. That was very, very kind of them. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, so it, uh, they haven't asked for a shout out or anything. They've just done it because a few people have been in. Um, after watching our channel on our recommendation so um, if you're looking at buying or selling your motor home make sure you give Northern Motor Home Buyers a try and if you mention our name you never know you could even get a discount <laughs> Stephen will probably kill me for saying that but probably yeah. yeah yeah just mention us when you go in there um, and it'll be appreciated all round absolutely so right let's get this tea cooking and let's get this diesel heater off because it's getting rather hot in here it is getting warm in here <sighs> that's our tea done chicken and potatoes yeah very boring yeah, very boring a little bit dry but it was I just, but just couldn't be bothered <laughs> it'll do because we're back in retford as i told you earlier for yep. a well a few days a we've few got, days we've got some stuff to get rid of and mm -hmm. um, we've got to prepare for the 10k giveaway yeah which came yesterday mm -hmm. so we've got to we go think, collect that yeah <laughs> we think we that's, think it has yeah that's what we're so we've got to collect that we wanted to get the diesel pump knocking situations all yeah. on this which is absolutely yeah. really brilliant now mm -hmm. isn't it oh it is it's quite as well to turn it off it's so hot in here yeah it must have, i think well i think the temperature's warmed up today it's a lot it's, it warmer. is quite mild yeah and the wind's um, gone here now so yeah oh it's lovely walking out there no oh, it's it's to hold yeah. on to doors and <laughs> wee, blowing door over we called it a, we called it a fuel station didn't we near mm. halifax and i couldn't actually physically pull the door <laughs> shut it, it was that strong yeah. <laughs> it was crazy yeah. mm but yeah we've got a few things to get rid of as well so yeah <coughs> come back here so we can do all that mm -hmm. um and then we're going to be we're wanting to head off and venture out once the bits come for the van yeah and then do that and mm -hmm. then head somewhere uh, maybe go out for a month yeah but the other and probably the most important thing we've actually come back for is that boo's got to have a, yes, a doodah sample sent in a poo sample a poop sample it's to rule out something it's because they they initially think it's uh, guardia or guardia i'm not sure how you pronounce it mm. um it's quite a rare bacteria it's quite a rare bacteria this the vet says they don't see it very often um and it quite often needs a second dose of medication to actually rid the whole parasite plus yeah eggs. so they said do you want to test for it Cause it's, i think it's 160 pounds just to test it yeah yeah. Um, we're like, well, let's do it because it, it, it it's money well spent because it, it'll either it, well it'll give us hopefully an answer or two. Yeah, won't hopefully it? they'll say no and then mm. that'll be the end of that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll uh, keep you updated on that one. Mm. We've got the little tube. We're just waiting for Zach to go out and mop some up. <laughs> His face. Went, oh, oh <laughs> picking up <Oprah>, what? <laughs> yes. Anyway, we've got oh, some uh, super thanks from you lovely people. We have. There. And we've got Jill's. I'm sure it's Jill's award. Thank you very much. Jackie Blackmore again. Thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you. And Anne Levine once again. Bless you, you Anne. Anne. Thank you. And I'm sure I'm pretty sure we thanked everybody else on the super thanks. I do get a little bit. Oh, we've got one another special thank you to give to um a strange person called Zoe M4909 who commented yesterday. Uh, well, it was actually, it's commented yesterday, but I picked it up this morning. Actually, probably the strangest comment I've ever had in my entire on, this, life. This is intriguing me, I know nothing about this. You do. I'm oh. going to put it up on the screen now for you to all laugh at. I've stopped subscribing to you, you because you brag too much and you're only interested in people who buy you coffees and super thanks. Yep, apparently so. So apparently we're bragging. Mm -hmm. So I've answered that. Uh, normally I just do away with them and click yeah, but delete them. But I've answered it. I can only apologise, but I was brought up with some manners mm -hmm. to thank people who do good deeds. It seems some people have no manners, and if that's bragging, maybe our channel is 100% better off if you did unsubscribe. Goodbye. <laughs> Very nice for you, dear. Yes, well, I'd... <laughs> What a stupid thing to put. I mean, honestly, honestly we do get some. Don't how we? is it bragging, thanking people who donate? Yeah. It, it, we don't ask people to donate. No. If nobody wants to donate, don't donate. We no. don't. We don't want. We don't. You know, we don't begging for anybody. No. Money. No. Never um, have done. Never will do. Bragging. I was bragging, thanking people. <laughs> it, it's just common manners to say thank you when somebody does something for you. What well, is it? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's common courtesy. Yeah, to thank it's, somebody. It's, we somebody, appreciate it. If somebody was stopping it van behind and they says, "Oh, I've got all these." We cooked all these potatoes, we mm. can't eat them all. Would you like some? 
I'd say, well, no, not really. I'd like a kebab. <laughs> but thank you very no. much. <laughs> but you thank people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So stupid. We get stupid comments yeah. now and again. Yeah. Oh, so well, I've, that's that's a good one though. That. <laughs> What's it, what, does, what does that mean? I've unsubscribed. I don't oh, no. know. We, we're going up all every time we look, we go up. So mm. I can't tell if mm. somebody unsubscribes because it's always going up. So Catherine's got a few birthday shout outs as well to do. Yes, there's getting more and more. I'm trying to keep up with it all. Yes, we're getting to a point now where we're probably not going to be doing them much longer because we're getting too many. Mm. We can't keep up with them. We get messaged on all different platforms yeah. and emails, and yeah. we get some that are yesterday and then we get some that are months ahead and yeah it, we, we can't we, we're struggling to keep track of it but we're going to keep doing them for now yeah so fire away fire away fire right at will. right these are not in any order just well as they came through well they don't know what order they'd be in anyway would they as in date order yeah well they wouldn't know what date so order from ho from happy birthday to jose from kerry for the 28th happy birthday uh jennifer cannon for the 23rd Happy birthday again. Lin yeah, Linda Goucher. Linda I Goucher. hope I've pronounced that right. Uh, that's 27th of that's January and that's a wedding anniversary. Uh, birthday is Joanne Dainty, 26th of Jan. Happy birthday, Joanne. Elsie, 10th birthday on the 30th of Jan and that's Mebet's Making Memories. Yes, happy birthday, happy 10th birthday. I know, and Carl Smith from Ali for the 26th of Jan. Yes, and that's it for birthdays in that's this video. That's it for birthdays in this video. Yes. We're going to try and keep them to the end of the video. And, uh, yeah, and so just... you, can you can switch off. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, no, like I say, we, we're just going to see how it goes, mm -hmm. but we're starting to get a bit inundated with we now. Well, I've already got them for all of February and yeah. some for March. We probably already forgot more than, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, I know. It's, it's all right writing it all down in a book sometimes, but... Mm. We tend to film off the cuff, so we thank people as stuff comes yeah, in. And, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and thanks anybody who's bought us a coffee as mm. well. That's also very mm -hmm. much appreciated. But um, that's it for tonight with us here. So want to thank you all for watching. Thank I'm every one of you. I'm not being biased and being, what's yeah. the, what is the word? About just people. We want to thank everybody. Absolutely. But you all know that. Yes. Well, you all know that. Of course we, you do. We'll, get, we'll get, probably get... 96% of the comments on this video now yeah. saying, oh, you know, ignore them stupid yeah, people yeah. and that. We, yeah, do. we, we, we do. We just think it's funny. We do ignore them. I just thought you'd enjoy yeah. it because I know a lot of people, there's a few people that read the comments, but a lot of people don't read the comments. Mm. Um, I know Amy reads all the comments. Yes, we know you do, Amy. Um, but not everybody does. So yeah, and nice. I know my mum doesn't does goes quite through a few as well. Yeah, to see what people put because yeah, people yeah. put very, very nice things. Yeah, but they do. Every now and again, one slips through the net. Yes. So I want to thank you all for watching and as always we will see you in the next one. See you in the next one.